Welcome. In this tutorial, we will explore how to manage and receive the unannounced sales returns in Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management. Looking at the sales return process in Dynamics 365 Supply Chain Management, this process is usually initiated by creating a return material authorization or also known as RMA order. However, in some business scenarios, customers might request to return products but without providing advance notification. This kind of return is called unannounced sales return. In the unannounced returns, the customers might know the return details of the sales orders that they are returning or it could be a blind return in situations where the customer doesn't know the return details like the original sales order or the shipment number. Let's first get started by the return details. The return details return process uses a return detail record that is automatically generated when an order is shipped. The return details contains all the information that is required to process a return such as the return ID, original order ID, shipment ID, order lines, and the return until dates. In the return details process, typically the seller company prints a return label for each outgoing shipment and deliver it along with that shipment. So if a customer must return an item, they don't have to contact the seller company, but instead they can just bag the item and attach the return label, then return the item to the seller company. Let's review how the return details record is initiated with the normal sales order picking to the pay door flow. So here I've created a new sales order, then follow the normal process. Uh, I've reserved the inventory, then released the sales order to the warehouse. Then I've completed the work picking. And uh, it's important to mention that the return details record is created uh, in the normal sales order process after confirming the shipment. So here in the work, we can navigate to the shipment or we can just confirm the shipment from here. Then let's navigate to the warehouse management, then inquiries and reports, return details. Here we have a, a record that has been generated for the return details. Here we have the return ID, the customer information. Uh, since this is a normal sales order, so we don't have container ID, but in the packing station, we will have here container ID. Then we have here the sales order information, the transportation uh, information, then the lines details. Here we have the item number, quantity unit of measure, and the return until date. Uh, this date is configured using item return uh, policy, and this is the valid return date where the customers can return the items. And here uh, in the transportation side, if the small parcel shipment is configured, then we can print also the return shipping label. Let's review another process on how the return details record is created with the packing station flow. So here I've created a sales order, then I've completed the picking work, and here we should continue from the packing station. So I'm gonna copy the target license plate, then I'll navigate to the packing station. So here as normal, I'll scan either the license plate or the shipment, then we'll create a new container, we'll pack the item in the container, then while closing the container, the system will create the return record details. So I'll click here OK to close the container. Then here I'll navigate to the return details and here we have the uh, return details record. And here we'll notice that we have the container ID. Now let's review how to manage the unannounced sales return process by using the return details flow. In this flow, it's supposed that the customer already have the return details. So when it comes to start the return process, the return process will be managed by using the return details ID. 
So first let's copy the return ID. Then right now I'll navigate to the warehouse management mobile application. And here I have a menu item for the return details receiving. So first the responsible worker have to scan the return ID. So here I'm gonna scan this return ID. Then I have to scan the item ID. Item ID is 30213, I'll click okay. Then right now, a new license plate will be generated. Then I'll click OK. Then here I have to specify the return quantity. So the return quantity is one. Then I'll click OK. After that, we have to specify the disposition code. So the disposition code is a normal RMA return. Then the flow is completed. Uh, it's important to mention that we have to click cancel to unblock the flow. The return process is managed by using a mixed license plate receiving. So right now this item is put into a mixed license plate. So I'll navigate to the mixed license plate receiving. I'll click refresh. And here we have the license plate. So here I'll click complete uh, license plate. Then right now we can see uh, as normal, a uh, an arrival journal has been posted. So I'll navigate uh, to the item arrival journal. Let's navigate to review the item arrival uh, journal. Here we have the journal as normal where the item has been received in uh, the default receiving uh, location. And let's review also the created work. Here we can see that uh, we have a return order has been created accordingly to the location directive. So here we have to move the item from the receiving location to one of the uh, return location. And also uh, when I'll navigate to the all return orders, we can see that a new return order has been created. So after that, we shall continue by the normal RMA process. Here we can see that uh, the item already registered. So we have to post the packing slip, then issue the invoice. The second kind of the unannounced return called blind return. A blind return is a return where the customer doesn't inform the selling company in advance by the return. So in that case, there is no RMA and no need to specify the sales order or the shipment number during the return receiving. In the blind return process in the unannounced sales return flow, the customer doesn't aware by the original sales ID or the uh, original shipment. And also the selling company doesn't maintain return details record. So in that case, customer can return the products without informing the selling company in advance and uh, without uh, providing the original information about the sales order. I'll start this process from the warehouse management mobile application. Here I have a menu item for the blind return process. I'll start by scanning the customer ID. Then here we have to scan the item uh, ID. Then here the system is generating a new license plate. I'll click OK. Then here we have to specify the return quantity. So return quantity is one piece. Then I'll click OK. Here we have to specify the disposition code. It's RMA return. Then again, it's important to cancel, to exit in order to unblock the flow and to process by receiving the mixed license plate. So here I'll click refresh. Here the item has been put into a mixed license plate. Here we can complete the license plate. Then like the return uh, details flow. System will create the item arrival journal. System will create a return work and also system will generate a new return sales order. Now let's review the prerequisites configurations for the unannounced sales returns. 
First, I'll navigate to the warehouse management parameters. Then here in the return uh, first tab. First, if the company uses the return details process, so we have to enable this option, enable return details creation. Then we have to enable this option as well, enable return order creation from the mobile device. This option is used for both the return details and the blind details as well, in order to be able to create the returns from the warehouse management mobile application. Then if a return details is applied, then here in the loads tab, we have to enable this option, enable sales load line picking route. When this option is enabled, then the system is linking the load lines to the sales line inventory transactions. Then after that, I'll navigate to the number sequences and we have two number sequences that should be defined. The load line inventory pick and the return ID. The load line inventory back could be reviewed from the load form. So here uh, we'll see that we have a new tab for the load line inventory picks. And here we have the load line inventory pick ID. And definitely the uh, return ID number could be reviewed from the return details form. To define the return item policy, I'll navigate to the warehouse management module, setup, return items, then return item policies. The return item policies could be defined in the specific item or group of items or for all the items. And in the return item policies, we have to define the return acceptance. So we can accept the returns for all the items. So we can select always allowed or never allowed, or we can accept the return within a, a time range so here we can select allowed days after shipment and if you select this one then we have to define the allowed details for a return and the allows details for return will be calculated and it appears in the uh, return details form so here we can review the return until date Now let's define the mobile device menu item for the unannounced sales return. So I'll navigate to the warehouse management module, setup, mobile device, and first we have to define return item receiving policies. So it depends on the accepted process in the organization. So we could create a policy for the blind return or return details or, or both of them if they are accepted in the organization. So here, just to click new, give it a code and description then select whether it's blind or details return then i'll navigate to the mobile device menu item and we have to create a return menu item so here i've created a return menu item for the return details it loads so here in the return, the uh, details receiving, here I've selected in the work creation uh, process, return item receiving. Also, this is the same process for the blind return. So here I'll click new, then give the menu item code and description, select work, select return item receiving. Then here uh, it's important to select whether this will be return details or a blind return so this is the uh, receiving policy that we just created so if we navigate to the blind return we can see it's the same return item receiving but it has a policy of blind return 